Hello friends and enemies, my name is Toxie and today we are going to be doing a very special experiment. Here I have two cards of each of three different card games and today we're going to be using these cards to answer that age old question, how waterproof are these cards exactly? So let's go ahead and meet me back in my laboratory for some experimentation. Hi there, and welcome to my lab. Without further ado, let's go ahead and introduce the experiment. Now for each of these card games, I've got two cards. I've got one card that is just a regular card and another card that is of foil finish. We're going to go ahead and toss them into the, uh, the experiment tub, if you will, and see how well they do. So let's start with the first one. In the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, we see Weevil take Yugi's Exodia cards and toss them overboard a cruise ship into the ocean. Joey jumps out to retrieve the cards, only to find that the cards are seemingly still in fine shape. In fact, a lot of times throughout the Yu-Gi-Oh! and Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and further series, we see cards get dipped into the water quite a bit and seem to just be fine, as far as we can tell. So let's go ahead and take these cards and see how well they do in real life water. Whoop. Definitely got some sinkage there, so let's go ahead and cut to our experiment cam. Stealing a look at the common card first, it definitely seems to be holding its own a little bit. It's definitely um, getting soaked, if you can see the little soaking lines there. Let's go ahead and give it a push. All right, that is thoroughly, thoroughly watered up. This definitely, it, it keeps its integral structure, but it's definitely starting to uh, fail. Taking a look at the gold wear, however, we can see that it's still holding itself up pretty good. It's still in pretty good shape. It is still, um, its structural integrity is great, actually. I can bend this and it bends like a normal Yu-Gi-Oh card. It doesn't seem to have that much done to it. Overall, it seems like the Yu-Gi-Oh cards stand up to the test. They definitely, for the most part, keep their structural integrity. I mean, the common card, um, it definitely got a little bit wet. You can see it here. Again, it's, it's just, you know, it's become a flimsy piece of paper. But the, uh, the rare, the, the gold rare, definitely, it seems like the foil finish saves the card somewhat and keeps it non-malleable. Moving on, let's say you're stranded on an island and all you have on you are magic cards, and you decide that you're going to take your deck apart and string all the cards together to make a makeshift raft so that you can finally get back to civilization. Let's go ahead and see how that raft would actually work. Let's go. Woo. Taking a look at the non-foil here, we of course have an island, because of course we do, and it seems to hold up just fine, surprisingly. Um, the card's not really all that bad, it's just kind of going through its own motion, and there it is, sinking to the bottom of the tub. Taking a look at the foil card, it seems to be, again, completely fine. Um, both of these cards are starting to slowly lose their structural integrity, but not, not as fast as the Yu-Gi-Oh cards are. Um, and surprisingly, again, it seems like they're just made of a little bit better material than the Yu-Gi-Oh cards are. The cards themselves definitely hold themselves up, but it seems like they're not going to be holding you up anytime soon. Once again, magic has sunk under its own hubris. Moving on to one final game, we've got Chaotic. Because, why not? Whoop! Oh, they both landed upside down. <laughs> Taking a look at a common, we've got everyone's favorite common, Dubin, and he has curled a little bit, but he seems to be doing fine. Overall, looking at this, the card's not too bad. It's starting to get malleable, but it's not its not crazy insane. Looking at our rare Slufora, let's see. It seems to be the same, although it seems to be getting a little bit more malleable faster. Um, it's definitely starting to lose its composition worse than the common card does. Fascinating. Definitely fascinating results. Let's go ahead and cut our experiment here and go ahead and meet back with me in the other room after a few minutes of these cards having been wetted, as it were. Hi there, 
Welcome back to the land of decent lighting. Before we go ahead and conclude this little experiment, let's go ahead and take a look at the cards after they've had a little bit of time to dry. All right, looking at the Yu-Gi-Oh cards here, they've definitely, um, the common has fully just become putty in my hands. This will go ahead, uh, if it, once it dries a little bit more after a couple days, it'll go back to being in a semi-normal state. It'll probably be a little rigid because it is water damaged, but overall, pretty fine. Uh, the foil, the gold rare that we have here, not so bad, honestly. Still maintains mostly its structural integrity. Definitely a tiny bit of water damage there, as you can see up there in the, the top corner. But overall, still feels like a regular Yu-Gi-Oh card. It just the, uh, the edges seem to be what are most affected by the water here. Moving on to our magics, our common card is mostly intact, much like the gold rare for Yu-Gi-Oh. It's more like the edges and the corners are most affected. The middle is barely affected at all, and it still feels like a regular magic card. For the foil, um, the foil part has actually begun to come up off of the card, if you can see it there. But overall, structural integrity is perfect. It's not really all that malleable. Um, this bottom corner is a little messed up, but overall still intact. And finally, for our chaotic cards, we've got the definite curling for our foil here. Um, its structural integrity is much like that of the common Yu-Gi-Oh card. It'll, it might go back to normal after a few days of having been, uh, uh, you know, wet. Uh, the water damage is definitely going to make this stand rigid, and for the common, it seems to be just curled. The uh, structural integrity isn't all that changed. It's a tiny bit malleable, um, but overall, mostly feels like a normal chaotic card. Incredible, incredible results. I think it's safe to say that if you were to ever drop your cards accidentally into a puddle or the ocean, then your cards would be perfectly fine and salvageable. Um, except for those chaotic cards. Oops. If I'm being honest, I'm more surprised that the magic cards stayed up than anything else. And that is going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I just made this video just to see what silly little thing I could do, just have fun. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, drink your water.